Welcome to Electron Lime. Now we talked about the center of gravity for like a plate-like object. It also works for wires. Let's say we have a wire that has a certain diameter, a certain density per unit length, or I should say a certain density and a certain weight per unit length. We can also find the center of gravity of a wire like that relative to the origin. Let's say that the wire is positioned in the XY plane. And notice there's some point in the wire that if the wire was stiff enough, you could balance the whole wire right there at that single point and that would then be the x and the y coordinate of the center of gravity. Again, the center of gravity is such that it appears that all the weight is acting at that particular point. So there would be equal to the weight that's equal to m times g for the whole wire. Again, how do we find the x and the y coordinate of the center of gravity? The idea is again that the x coordinate of the center of gravity times the weight of the whole wire will be equal to the sum of if you snip up the wire into small little pieces and each little piece has a weight delta w so delta w1 delta w2 delta w3 all the way to the last one delta wn and then you multiply that times the x coordinate of the center of gravity of each of those little pieces and you add it all up that gives you the center of gravity of the whole wire times the weight of the whole wire or I should say the x coordinate of the center of gravity of the whole wire and of course if we make those little snippets small enough and we add them all up that's exactly the same as the integral so we can write that the x coordinate of the center of gravity of the whole wire times the weight of the wire is equal to the integral of the center of gravity of the x coordinate of the center of gravity of each little piece times the weight of that each little piece of course in the limit let delta w go to zero that is then indeed the integral we do the exact same thing for the y direction or if i should say for the y coordinate it works exactly the same all you have to do is come up with an equation that describes the weight and the position of those little pieces along that string like that and or along that wire We'll show you some examples in the future of how to actually calculate that. But here you just have to understand the notion that this is equal to that. Therefore, we can integrate it like that and find the x and y coordinates of the center of gravity. That's the key to solving many of these problems. And we'll show you plenty of examples of how to do that.